Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. What a weekend we had at the Commodity Classic. Goodness gracious. Great event. Got to see all my friends from Extreme Ag. Got me some Extreme Ag swag. It's good to see all you. Uh, met a bunch of fans. Uh, appreciate each and every one of y'all coming up and talking to me. Y'all kind of inspired me this year. We're going to go a little deeper this year on uh, studies and whatnot. We're not going to do a lot of testing, but I'm going to get into the biologicals a little bit. What I think of them. Uh, we're going to get into some more science. But I always come back from the commodity classic kind of fired up. And uh, yeah. Had a good time at the rodeo, and uh, appreciate all my decaf friends when things went south at the rodeo. And if you was there, you understand. But anyhow, had a bunch of decaf buddies back me up on that situation, and uh, appreciate each and every one of y'all. But uh, we're back here in the shop. Pablo and Migos went and got some buckets. They're gonna clean some buckets up. We got to drain the oil out of this 4455 one more time. The seal right here around the PTO is leaking. So we're going to bust all this apart. See if we can't dry it up. I got the seal kit part. And uh, we're going to see if we can't dry that part of it up. And this thing will be ready to get out of here. But uh, yeah. Fired up, ready to go. We got to get this thing finished and then we're going to... then. It, it's supposed to rain here all week this week. So, uh, fan the phone's ringing. Be right back with y'all in just a minute. All right, as I was saying, that was Chuck at call, ordering some parts from deer. But anyhow, we're gonna try to fix this 4455, get that leak dried up, and then we have to start on these wide drops. It's supposed to be raining here all week this week. Uh, it's not raining now, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow all day. So we're gonna get this sprayer here Pulled out here in the middle and sprawled out and we're gonna get these 360 wide drops on this sprayer I'd love to be burning down this week, but it is super wet here. We can't do anything. So We're gonna just Work on equipment. It's all we can do But them boys over cleaning them buckets up I'm Getting ready to catch this oil And I'm excited too because my buddy Temple Rhodes has got a bounty out next year. He's got a bounty on who can win the bean contest next year. I am super excited to see who comes out on top on that deal. I'm not going to release no details because it's his thing, but let's just put it this way. There's a call out for the bean contest next year. And I look forward to it so anyhow we're gonna give her our best this year in ncga it's probably not gonna be a good year for us we just don't have corn on the right acres to even do it and uh, we're not gonna have much a lot of corn this year to even play with it much so and financially you're not gonna be able to you guys out there y'all need to remember that you're growing three dollar and 75 cent corn this year not six dollar corn so y'all need to pay attention guys and not get over budget or you can still pull profit out of this because you can still do it you can still do it and i tell you how we're gonna do it we're gonna we're gonna take some of the nutrients that we put up front and save them to the tail end and that way if we got a crop we can put it in it if we don't we can pull it out and that's how we're going to save money this year. We're not cutting our nutrient plan. We're just allocating it to the back end to see whether or not we got a crop, and then we'll put it out. And uh, that's how we're going to try to do it this year. Whether it works or not, that's to be seen. So we got to get Mother Nature to play ball with us first. She holds the trump card. You have no control over that. None. You go on with your plan. If she wants to play ball, she'll play ball. So enough of me rambling. Let's get over here and uh, see if we can get this oil drained out. Whew. 
Yo, I got them buckets clean. Looking good. Good. Done put this oil in here twice and take it out again. I didn't realize that PTO was leaking, so seriously. Till we park in the shop here, so. All right, guys, we got the back of this tractor to apart. Pablo is cleaning the, the back end of it up over here. And uh, this is what the inside looks like, and we found this. There's a shim right here that's broke. And that shim goes right here. So I'm gonna have to See if I can find that shim. But the shim is broke. We're gonna get this cleaned up in the parts washer. Uh, Miko's gonna come over here, clean it up. It's hard to do one handed. Let's plug it up right there. Oh. He's gonna get those pieces cleaned up in the parts washer. And uh, we're gonna see if we can call John Deere and see if we can find that shim somewhere. We'll get this project done, then we can start on the wide drops. That's why we're trying to get it done. I don't know where that O ring was. That o There's an O ring in there. Somewhere. Because I have the parts diagram right here. Seal. O ring. Or maybe that's a shin. Shim. But it sure looks like an O ring to me. I don't even see the shim. I don't know. We're going to dig a little deeper and see what we can come into here. But uh, we get all this cleaned up and I'll find out here. We'll uh, bring you back in just a few minutes. It's just one of them you tear it down, inspect it, and see what you got deals. All right, we got her tore down. We finally found the seal we was looking for in there. <laughs> there it is. Let me tell you, that snap ring right there is a bear, ain't it, amigo? Yeah. Very tough. <laughs> They like to whoop our tail. But there's the gasket or the seal we've been looking for. You have to take it apart from the inside out. You can't just reach and pull the PTL out and put the seal in. You got to take it, like the guts out, like we're doing, and put it in there. Show them that O-ring in there, amigo. See? Oh, there's an O-ring right in the bottom, right there. We have it right here. Yep, right where we goes pointing. Now we're gonna break all this down here and see if we can get this seal out. All right, guys, we got the seal knocked out. There's the old one. We knocked it out. If you're wondering what the seal is, the seal number for 4455. There's your part number. RE13181. Here's the other one. And here's the gasket number. And that O-ring, I don't know what the part number of that O-ring is, but you need one O-ring. And you'll be able to rebuild it. So, we got to put this in here right like so. Drive it home. You we'll hold the camera for me, go.
I think. Was this supposed to win in there, Mingo? That was that in there? That wasn't inside of there, was it? Yeah. Where'd this go? No. I'm gonna find out where this goes. I don't know where that goes, Mingo. Mm -hmm. well, I really don't know where that goes. I'm gonna look on the parts diagram and study just a little bit more. All right, guys, we figured this washer out finally. This it goes in a newer style than what we have. Uh, it does not go in this style. That's why there wasn't one in here, but we've already got this back together. Take it out of the vise there, Pablo. And you can see we got her all new and installed. We got to put her O-ring in there. You got the new one? Yeah. You put it in? Yes, sir. Goes in the second one, the back one. Migo's gonna put the O-ring in there. But Chuck just come by and uh, he called uh, John Deere Mechanic that works on these a lot. And he walked us through it while it was in there. Why it was, it's not supposed to be in this model. So we didn't get it put in there. So, but anyhow, Pablo done a good job getting this back in cleaned up. Migo got all this cleaned up. And we got the new seal put in it. New O-rings in it. And uh, we're about ready to slap it back together with Pablo. Yeah. Get us one of them gaskets out of there, brother. They like, serve winter, we don't need but one. I just take and slice it right there where you can get one out. But we moved the fuel trotter over back here. I got I do got some black rims coming. Should be here this week, maybe. So we're gonna get this 4455 wrapped up here. Get that book back together and we're gonna get this sprayer out and get her sprawled out in the shop. Start on them wide drops. One gasket. I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone on this and uh, slap her together here in just a minute. All right guys, we got it back together. It just slid right back up in there. 24? Yep. 15, 16 probably. But I mean, that's probably good, yeah. But Amigo found some bolts loose there. He's gonna tighten them up. Then we're gonna try to get the oil back in. Well, this had an interesting conversation with a landlord. Let me let me just run this down, Pablo. I'm gonna tell the I'm gonna tell the viewers about what we just went through here. So I had a landlord call me up. Didn't want me to grow cotton around their place, around their house because he didn't like the smell of the devoted. I get it, okay? It stinks. Number one, it does not mess with your allergies, okay? Number two, if I don't use it there on my place, guess what? My brother-in-law right across the fence row on the other side of him is gonna use it. So he's still gonna smell the stuff. You're not, you're not fixing your problem. Uh, I really wish people would get educated on these chemicals and quit, quit giving us farmers a bad name about chemicals and applying them. We have more state certifications than you will ever get, okay? Multiple schoolings, multiple certifications, multiple cards in my pocket says that I'm certified. Number two, you will not find anybody else that cares about the land like a farmer. We are not going to do anything that hurts 
the farm or anybody around it. That would be like me going and spraying over the top of my kids. That's stupidity. We're not going to do anything like that. Now then, we are humans. We do make mistakes sometimes. But you own up to your mistakes and you make it right with that person. But I, 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 that's my little rant for today. Lost that farm. It's gone. He's going to sow her down in grass. That's his decision. But all I can say is he, he just made a bad choice because. I mean, he could have pull, been pulling the rent off of it, and he's still going to smell the smell of the defoliant right across the street. And actually, I, I still work the property right beside his, on both sides. My brother-in-law is in front of him. So you're still going to have chemicals around you. You're still going to have the smell around you. Chicken litter is going to be spread around you. All I can say is this. If you move in here from out of town and out of state and you move into a farmer's world just research what you're getting into before you move into that community don't what I'm trying to say is don't come in the community trying to change the way the farmer farms that's my job that's why I make a living I don't tell you how to do yours don't tell me how to do mine Fair enough. Fair enough, Pablo? Yeah, it's fair. So that's my little rant for today. We're gonna put the oil in this tractor and get this tractor out of this shop. So let's get the oil in the tractor. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Drinking old sun drop. Beautiful day outside. Don't let it be deceiving because tomorrow it's supposed to storm. So that's why we got the sprayer in here and we've got it in here crossways. Took a little bit of doings, but we got it in here. We're fixing to start installing the wide drops on it. The guys are back here getting this dust up off the floor and we're gonna, we're gonna run the squeegee across it here in a minute and get this floor clean. Then we're gonna lay these wide drops out which are right there. Y'all heard me talk about them enough. We've been going to put them on all winter. Well, we're actually fixing to do it. So, as soon as we get this floor squeegeed up back there, we're fixing to get with it. So, that's why we're doing it inside. I'd love to do it outside, but it's just, uh, we're supposed to get hammered tomorrow. And then there's like a 30 and 40 percent chance the next couple days and then friday you get hammered again we need to be spraying right now but we can't do nothing it's still wet muddy uh muddy in the field still got a little bit of ripping to do so we're getting down to the point now where we get we've got the water wagon ready the only thing we gotta do is hook the vertical tillage tool and get it greased and gone over we got a new tire put on it this morning you can't afford many of them tires that goes on that 2660 VT. Them Michelin tires, $1,200 a piece. Ouch. Yeah. So I just bought one, had one completely wore out from the crown into the road. And we got it replaced, so. Y'all got her up, y'all ready for me to squeegee? Just pick it up and then I'll squeegee. All right, now I'm fixing to run this floor scrubber. And then we're gonna hit this wide drop. Here we go. All right, the guys are getting all this 360 stuff out of here. Getting it all organized. So we can get it put on here. It's gonna be a pretty good job, but me and the fellers can get it, can't we? That got a hose you got drag hoses we got wide drops <sighs> got a lot of brackets don't we make yeah. we got all this piping short piping sticks and we're going we went through here and marked our boom where it's going to go it's what our marks are for uh 
Like I said, tomorrow's supposed to be crappy, so we're gonna work on this today. See how much of it we can get done. So, they sent pretty good instructions. I mean, they got pretty good thorough instructions with it. Step by step on how to do it. And we're going to see if we can't get it together. Our only problem is our boom wouldn't fold out all the way. Because we're in the building here. It wouldn't fold out all the way without opening the second section. So, we're going to do the best we can do. We might have to move some stuff around once we get it outside and get it on a row pattern. But that's where we're at. And uh, let's see if we can get some of this on here. We're going to keep, we're going to get it all on here and then we'll tail back through and tighten it all up. If we get some of it started, we'll show you guys. All right, we figured some of it out. We've got the first framework on. Uh, let me just say the instructions ain't too good. Very confusing. So Amigo suggested let's watch a video, didn't you Amigo? Yes, video. Perfecto para que aprendamos más. Rápido. You heard him. If you can understand Spanish, you heard him. He basically said the video was perfect. But we did, we watched the video and the video explained every freaking step of it and turned it into layman's terms and we slapped it right on but it's four o'clock here we're all gonna quit right here where we're at in the morning we'll come back we'll continue on the other side get it laid out just like we got this side come back and put our pipes and move right along so i guess we'll just start this video back in the morning oh wait a minute oh back we just got a new sponsor of the channel agritech NutriCharge, and uh, glad to have them sponsoring the channel. So, if y'all ain't checked out NutriCharge, y'all have heard me preach about it a lot. And I use it. The stuff works. It unlocks your your phosphorus and your potassium and a lot of other nutrients. I'm just telling you, the stuff works. We run it in furrow, and we also add it to our wide drops when we put our nitrogen down. So. Glad to have them on board. Looking forward to a season with them uh, as a sponsor, even though I've used their products last year. But glad to have them a sponsor of the channel. Uh, Y'all don't forget Extreme Mag. Check them out. Them guys are willing and open to help people with knowledge. And, and, and guys, that's an awesome group to join. <laughs> I, I love I love every one of the guys. They're awesome. They've treated me I mean, superb since day one. But anyhow, enough of me rambling. Y'all ready to tell the folks we'll see them in the morning? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Pablo? Y'all heard? We'll start this video first thing in the morning. We'll see y'all in the morning.